Okay, here we get going with phase four of the 26 week internet marketing plan framework, and that is content marketing, the fourth and final phase. Okay, so let's um, do a bit of zooming out again here. And um, if we move across to the top, bear with me for a second here. Okay, so phase four is across here. Uh, here we go. Uh, we're getting there. And we'll move up now to, it should be week 21, which is the beginning. Here we go, week 21. And uh, we just move across very slightly. And um, week 21 of phase four is ebooks and viral PDFs. Now, a lot of people think because of social media that um, ebooks, kind of written content, isn't necessarily the way of the future. No, 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 no. Search engines crawl written content. And, you know, they will be able to. Um, they will be able to review audio content in the future, but at the end of the day, written content is still the number one medium for search engines. So ebooks, viral PDFs, are an awful lot easier for search engines to crawl and determine the relevance of. Also, a lot of readers out there prefer ebooks, prefer things in written format rather than video format. You know, maybe you've um, attempted to actually um, watch a set of videos as a, as a set of instructions for a particular product or service that you've bought and you've discovered that, you know, there's 20 different videos to watch and all you want to do is just skim through a manual. You know, a lot of people prefer written content and ebooks and viral PDFs are a great tool when it comes to internet marketing. So what do you have to do? Well, first of all, you have to plan your content ahead of time. You know, you don't necessarily have to write everything yourself. In fact, for internet marketing, you don't have to do everything yourself. And hopefully this framework, hopefully the 26 week internet marketing plan blueprint provides you with a fantastic step-by-step -step approach that you can actually hand to an outsourcer or hand to someone else. And you know, once you understand a bit yourself, get other people just to do it um, you know, on your behalf. Anyway, so for ebooks, you want to be outsourcing, you want to be ghostwriting. And what you can actually do, you can quite easily get someone with a decent level of English, you know, for only a few hundred dollars to write, you know, a very, very lengthy ebook on your behalf. And um, you can use that content for lots of things. You can use it for online document sharing sites, you know, for actually publishing as an ebook if you wanted to do that. You can split it down into different reports. Um, but one of the most important things is make sure there's a call to action within your ebook. That is, what do you want people to do after you after you finish your chapter, after they finish your ebook? Um, do you want them to visit your website? Do you want them to subscribe to a newsletter? Do you want them to buy something off your site? Whatever it is, decide what you want them to do, but make sure you're very focused that that's what you want them to do and set a target and make it as likely as possible that people um, you know, go ahead and um, reach the goal that you want them to achieve. Uh, which takes us on to week number 22, content hubs and feeder sites. Now, content hubs and feeder sites um, basically are a great place for you to publish parts of your ebook. If you publish your uh, or write your ebook correctly, what you can do is you can write it in, say, 10 or 12 different segments that split up quite naturally, and you can use these uh, 10 or 12 different sections of your ebooks to create completely different niche websites. Um, and you can use these niche websites as a, as a wheel of new websites around your, um, your main website, um, perhaps hosted in different places. Um, you can use it for, so you can use them for SEO benefits, you know, pointing towards your own main site. You can use it, um, these niche and hub sites to actually attract visitors and, um, and get them to um, give an email address with a view to downloading some other um, report as well. So um, it's, it's really worthwhile to think of a long-term strategy if you're serious about you know, doing really well online, of building a network of niche 
content hubs and feeder sites around your main site. And um, what you have to do is just get your squeeze strategy right. Get your squeeze strategy right is, um, you know, what are you asking people for? Are you asking for their, their name and email address to download a report? Are you trying to get them to actually make some kind of small purchase initially so that they become a customer so you can um, sell bigger things um, through to them in the future? Whatever your strategy is, wherever you're squeezing people towards, focus on that as your primary goal um, and then um, your content hubs and feeder sites will be successful. Which takes us on to week 23, article marketing. Now article marketing to a certain extent is just another um, kind of split up, another subsection um, of this content writing that you've been doing. Imagine, you know, the big ebook that you've written split down into 10 or 12 sections for the for, for the niche feeder sites. Um, and then you can split that down further into articles for your article marketing strategy. <coughs> so, article marketing. Um, what you have to do is write you know fairly decent quality articles and submit them to really big popular article reprint sites. Now what these article reprint sites do is um, offer you the facility to first of all publish your articles um, secondly publish an author bio at the bottom of these articles with a link back to your site and thirdly include a, a link back to your site within these author bios. So those links are driving traffic directly from these article directories, but also driving SEO benefits if you use appropriate keyword rich links. So it's another way of, of driving you know, good positive search engine optimization from other sites um, back to your site. That's article marketing. Um, now there are lots of submission software services that you can use. Um, there are great content production strategies you know all these are discussed you know and you're given a very specific strategy to undertake um in the in the blueprint so that's at www.26weekplan.com slash blueprint so that's week 23 article marketing um so let us take it down to week 24 audio and video now this is obviously you know a very much um you know modern developing you know um appropriate um method of internet marketing to be considering now you know youtube is just so so popular um it's just incredible in fact it's the second most popular search engine on the internet behind google did you know that did you know that google did you know that youtube rather is actually more popular than msn and yahoo now um so there's so much traffic that goes through uh, youtube um you're not necessarily going to use this as just the sole um content marketing strategy you should um combine it with article marketing combine it with other you know content marketing strategies but what you can actually do is submit um, your videos to YouTube, Blip TV. There's so many other video sites out there. Um, so um, video marketing um, is fairly easy to do. There are so many great screen capture software um, that you can get now. Again, you know, go to the um, the blueprint to to get all, all the details and the the strategy behind doing that. Um, podcasting. Is also a very, very, uh, you know, worthwhile um, form of internet marketing as well. You know, could be very, very relevant for you. You know, perhaps not. It's not as appropriate for you. But if you are video marketing, you can actually distribute your videos as a podcast as well. What is a podcast? A podcast is a series of MP3 or MP4 files um, that are associated with an RSS feed and the RSS feed then gets submitted to podcast directories like iTunes and then people can subscribe to your latest content and get you, your latest content delivered to them through this RSS feed um, wherever they subscribe through. So wherever they subscribe through you know, places like iTunes, they'll be able to get your latest content. Now if that sounds a little bit complicated, you know, again, you know, it's all covered in the blueprint. Which takes us on to week 25, which is blog and web 2.0 site distribution. Wow. <laughs> now that does sound a bit of a mouthful, but what that's basically saying is there are 
are an awful lot of websites out there that um, let you blog, that let you interact with other users. Um, there are other, you know, you know, blogging sites like Blogger and, and WordPress.com where you can produce, um, you know, publish um, any content you want um, on these other sites. And there is submission software out there that actually lets you fairly easy syndicate your content to all these different blog and web 2.0 networks. Now it's a, you know, maybe a little bit complicated just to get your head around to begin with, but in effect, it really is, you know, making your life a lot easier because if you distribute your content to as many different platforms as possible without spamming, without distributing poor quality information, you can still distribute great stuff. At the end of the day, there are so many places out there for people to find you. If you're appearing in lots more places, you will, you know, be much more likely uh, to get people to find you uh, in all these other places and drive people back to your site. So that's what this is about. That's what blog and web 2.0 site distribution is about. It's about you know, going to people where they reside, where they're actually interacting and publishing your content there. Which takes us on to week 26, bookmarking and social sharing. So that's the end of this content marketing. So what, what is bookmarking and social sharing? Well, you might have heard of sites like Delicious, like StumbleUpon, like Furl. Um, what they are is basically online sites where you can store your favourite web pages. And there are millions of people out there that prefer to store their favourite web pages online rather than actually store them on their PC. There are quite a few advantages. If you store your web pages online, then you can go anywhere in the world, log into your social um, bookmarking account, and then you can have your favourite web pages straight there in front of you. But what's the SEO benefit? Well, of course, the reason behind um, the SEO benefit is that search engines can crawl these social bookmarking sites as well. They can see what's being saved. They can see what's popular. They can see how people are saving these pages, you know, what phrases they're using when they're saving these pages. And because search engines know that it's people saving these pages, search engines like social bookmarking. So what you need to do is encourage users to actually share your content. If they like your content, share your content. So encouraging bookmarking and social sharing should be part of your effective content marketing strategy. Um, there are lots of bookmarking plugins out there. There are also some stumble upon ads. Stumble upon ads. Stumble upon is a really, really popular um, social bookmarking service. And you can actually advertise on there from as little as five cents. You know, it's really worthwhile doing that as well. Um, you can also employ bookmarking and social sharing and social seeding services. That is, you know, if you've published a great piece of content to begin with, you know, there are different ways you can go about uh, encouraging lots of people to bookmark it initially. And if you get lots of bookmarks on your new piece of content to begin with, what that does, that pricks up the ears of the search engines and the search engines obviously think, well, this is a relevant piece of content. You know, it gets shared around more people, it gets tweeted more, it gets shared on Facebook, and suddenly that piece of your content has gone viral. And that's something that's covered in an awful lot of depth and good strategy um, on um, the blueprint. And that's, of course, www.26weekplan.com slash blueprint. Um, so that's covered in um, week 26 um, of that. Um, so hope you found that useful there. Um, obviously, there's an awful lot of information there in the framework. I've tried to give you an overview. I've tried to um, kind of tell you as much as possible um, in terms of what to do. But at the end of the day, you need a step-by-step -step blueprint, a step-by-step -step plan. So um, I sincerely hope that you choose to join me um, in the Inner Circle community. Um, just go to www.26weekplan.com slash 
blueprint and I will see you in the 26 week internet marketing plan inner circle community